Well, good day, people. We've got a uh, a rim cylinder here. It's totally unbranded. There's no identification on it whatsoever that I can find. I've been trying to pick this for a while and uh, have had no success. So this is going to be a two-part uh, video because um, because I had trouble well, because I haven't picked it yet. I thought I'll put it to pieces and see what's in it. Well, for a lock that's got no brand on it whatsoever, I believe. Is that what you would call a mushroom pin? It's not the standard spool pin. That cut that cut out around it, I believe, is tapered. So I'm assuming that's what you call a mushroom pin. Uh, I've never seen a mushroom pin yet. I haven't experienced them. But uh, if that's a mushroom, well, this is my uh, my first sighting of a mushroom pin. And to sight it in an unbranded lock, I find truly amazing. There's no brand on it whatsoever. Nothing to identify it. But it's one mushroom. Alright, now I'm going to put this back together again. And um, I'll have another go at picking it. <laughs> and see if I can get that uh, on camera. So, uh, to be continued. Well, hi there, people. Well, I got that lock back together again. That rim cylinder with the single mushroom in it, unbranded. And as soon as I uh, finished putting it back together again, I had to go out picking it, and I picked it straight away. I didn't put the camera on because I haven't been able to pick this for months. I pick it up from time to time, but it always failed to pick it but uh, yesterday when I when I did it I picked it straight away now, I don't know so I'm going to uh, have a go now at getting it on camera okay she's locked up so now let's see if we can get it on camera And I'm using, um, I suppose what they call a deep hook. Yeah, deep hook. Homemade, as usual. Put the tensioner across the keyway. Okay, here we go.
Okay. <coughs> there it is. We got it picked. Now, I've only got one thing to say about this. Uh, I'm not really happy with the fact that I picked the damn thing. Because since taking it to pieces, I now know which chamber that mushroom pin is. Um, it always annoys me when I take these things to pieces and put them back together again, I pick them. Whereas prior to pulling them to pieces, uh, I've, I've always failed. So, uh, I didn't notice any unusual characteristics with this, with the mushroom pin. So, perhaps man's just got to keep on practicing and trying to trying to uh, feel what's going on so he can identify, well spools are easy to identify, this mushroom wasn't so easy, I actually thought it might have had serrated pins or something, but I have picked a lock before, I think it had five or four serrated pins in it, and I, I didn't notice anything different with that, so uh, alright, that's gone long enough I think, but I am, I am a bit pissed that uh, I was only able to pick this thing after I pulled it to pieces. It's like you're cheating. To me, it's like looking at the key, you know? You look at the key, so you get an idea of what's going on. Well, if you didn't have the bloody key, you wouldn't be able to do that. And if you can't take a lock out of a door to uh, pull it to bits to see how it works, then put it back together again, then pick it, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing for me. But I guess that's what the game's all about. You keep practicing and learning all the time. Okay, thanks for watching that. Hello.